YouTube buddies, how y'all doing? Just a quick video on a real reasonable optic that I just grabbed. I mean, so reasonable, I had to make a video about it, but this is from a little spot called Monstrum Tactical, you guys. It's a four by 30. And, um, you know, I got a TA-11. I think my TA-11 is a uh, three by 39. So that's my Akon TA-11. I also have a lot of other optics guys at higher price points, March, I have EOTex, I have um, a lot of SIG optics with magnifiers and things like that. But guys, this was 49 bucks, 50 bucks. You can get into a decent optic horseshoe reticle, four by 30 magnification with a lot of attributes that usually come on a much higher optic, you guys. 50 bucks is crazy. And um, it came with some little caps or whatever. You, you can take those off. But guys, a four by 30 optic, clear glass with, I think you have three choice of uh, reticles you can choose from. I went with the horseshoe, of course. But it's not always about the price, guys. Everybody not gonna wanna go spend 1600 on a TA-11. Everybody not wanna go spend $1,000 on reticles. You can get an optic, guys, that's decent for, um, I, I can't believe it, for under 100 bucks. And I'm gonna put this on something and run it and see what I, how I feel about it. but. In the hand, it feels really good, guys. I'm gonna be using this down south. Just some, some different things that I'm gonna be sending down south for my hunt. But this is uh, that Monstrum Tactical Stealth. I believe that's what it's called, a four by 30 stealth. But um, let my guys know, something like this, 300 bucks, 50 bucks. And this actually looks a little clearer to me when looking through it than that $300 setup. I'm not saying it's better, I'm just strictly saying I have both and this looks decent looking through that. It looks a little better to me, in my opinion, than trying to look through that magnification. That you know you have to find the sweet spot when you're looking through those through those Juliets. It's like a if you have one, you know what I'm saying. This you don't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you looking through, you are pretty much on your target. And I like when you have that illumination off, you still have that reticle. So you still hunting ready. You still battle ready if you don't have a battery or if something happens to the illumination in that. You can still hunt and do what you gotta do and you can still get on target. So it's kinda hard to beat that for 50 bucks. Check that out guys, peace.